today I am going to show you how to do this eye look. It is so, so easy. I used three shadows um, and of course a glitter, which I am dying about. I love it. Um, glitter is such a huge trend at the minute. When I'm doing my clients makeup, I constantly am asked to use glitter and I do not complain because I love it. I have found my favorite glitters ever. I will never use another glitter. They're the Helen A glitters. I used rose gold one today and who doesn't love rose gold? It is such a trend at the minute. Glitter, rose gold, put together the biggest trend going. So I thought I would create this for you today to show you that you can get a really glam look that is so quick and easy to achieve. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep watching and I will show you with three shadows, one glitter, a bit of liner and some lashes. Hopefully you enjoy. Okay, so this is the look that I have created using the rose gold glitter. I love this look. This is a super glam look that you can wear on a night out. Um, I just find it really, really fun. So I'm going to show you how to create it. It's actually really, really easy to create. Um, we only use three shadows and the glitter and that's it. Um, so I'm just going to get started. Obviously I've done this eye and now I'm going to recreate it on the other eye. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the shadow truffle. Um, it's just this really gorgeous warm shadow just with big fluffy blending brush. I'm just going to pack it on to the brush, tap it off and run this through um, the crease. And just keep building this colour up. This is your transition colour, but we do want a nice bit of smokiness coming from it. Truffle has actually got a slight purpley undertone in it, which just, just gives this look a really nice, smoky, sexy effect. The important thing with your transition colour is that it, you have no lines at all so you want to make sure that it's all really really well blended at the line, at the outer um, corners of the shadow. So I'm quite happy with that for now. Um, I'm then going to move on to picking up my second shadow which is the slightly darker colour Espresso. It's actually quite a nice warm brown with again kind of like a subtle hint of like a purple undertone. Um, I really love this colour and this is going to be the colour that we deepen up the look with. So I'm just taking a small blending brush and packing on the colour and tapping it off. Then I'm going to concentrate this colour into the outer corners mostly and kind of up into the crease. And then again going in with the big blending brush and just buffing everything out. And then I'm just going to keep getting espresso and building the colour up until I'm 100% happy with it. And in between, just keep going back to the blending brush and blending it all out. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that for now. So what I'm going to do next is get um, the shadow in the shade buff which is just like a pinky undertone um, cream colour with this Helen E double sided brush with a smaller end and just pack the shadow onto that, tapping it off and then pressing this into the inner corner. Just like that. Now before I put the glitter down I am going to do underneath. So I just go back to truffle on a, on a slightly large fluffy brush and just run this right underneath. Then I'm going to get Espresso on a slightly smaller brush and just run that kind of into the other corners more. I think I'm meeting up with the corners. Like that. So. This is the kind of base that we've got at the minute, which I think is very pretty, but we're gonna make it even better with a bit of glitter. 
So for the glitter, gl I think glitter kind of scares a few people because they're like, oh, it's so messy, it's so hard to work with, but it's actually not, and I'm going to show you a really easy way to do it. So today I am using the Helen E Rose Gold Glitter and it is the most stunning glitter I've ever seen. Um, I'm putting this on with just a wee Helen E brush, um, just like a flat shader brush. Really, really lovely brush to use to put on the glitter. So I'm just opening the glitter up and then I'm grabbing my Holy Grail Helen E Fixing Gel. I use this all the time on clients, I use it on myself to put on glitter. It is the best thing to use. So it comes in this lovely um, packaging and then you have um, your wee applicator at the end. So because I'm using this on myself, I'm just going to, this is my own personal one, I'm just going to use this straight off the, um, the end of the applicator. So I, what I do is I just press this onto the parts where I want to put the glitter. Then whatever is left on the brush, I just, or on the applicator, I just put it onto the brush to get the brush a wee bit wet so the glitter sticks when we're picking it up. Then I get the pot of glitter and I just dab the brush into it to pick up a good amount of glitter. And then I press it on. Do not try to sweep the glitter on because it will just get everywhere. You really just want to press it hard, like quite hard onto the lid so you get it to stick nice and opaque. Like that. This changes the entire look. I love this glitter, I just think. It is the prettiest glitter ever. These are the only glitters I use personally on myself and on clients. So now to kind of make it blend in a wee bit more with the rest of the shadow, I get buff again on the same on the same brush, get a good bit of it on my brush and tap it off. And then what I do is simply press it onto the outer corner of the glitter just to kind of get it to blend back into our matte shadows like that. I then get the brush where my darkest colour was on and just kind of lightly blend it in like that. So it's actually really easy to get a nice glitter look. Um, so what I'm going to do to now glam this look up, you could be finished with this if you wanted but um, I love my liquid liner so I'm going to grab the Hell Me, um Precision Line Eyeliner Pen it is amazing, I really, really love it. And I'm just going to do a nice um, winged liner right away, right the way across the lid. Okay, so once that's done, I'm then going to get the Hell Me um, white eyeliner pencil and just pop that in my um, waterline. Just like that, just to open the eyes that wee bit more. You can put black in the waterline, which will make it look really, really smoky and nice, but I personally don't sit black, um, but that's just another option. So what I'm gonna do now is put my mascara and some lashes on and let you see the final look. Okay, so now that the lashes on, I'm just going to get the eyeliner pen again and run them along um, the top band of the lashes just to hide um, the lash band. This pen is perfect for doing that as well. And for highlighter I'm just adding a wee bit of the shade buff on just a hell of a concealer brush. and into the very inner corners as well, just to really open them up and make them really, really bright. Again, I'm just using the wee concealer brush for this. So yeah, this is just a quick tutorial on how to do a super glam look, really quick and easy, with amazing rose gold glitter. Everybody loves a bit of glitter, especially lately. It is so on trend. So, um, yeah, definitely go check out the Helmy glitters. They are the only glitters I personally use. Um, 
and yeah so hopefully you like this tutorial and I'll see you in the next one bye guys okay so this is just another option of how to use the um, glitter without needing to put it all over your lid is just lining your liner with the glitter so again I just used the Helene precision line um, eyeliner and just done the normal wing like that I also just done like a nice kind of soft smoky eye nothing too um, crazy on the eyeshadow so I'm just going to grab the Helene it's like a I think it's supposed to be an eyeliner brush um, and I'm just going to get grab grab that the fixing gel and today I'm going to use the copper glitter so what I do is just take a bit off the fixing gel just off the um, wand that it comes on I just dab it onto my eyeliner um, brush just like that just load it up nice and then I just get my mirror and look down and with nothing else on the brush I just line my liner with the fixing gel I kind of do it in two halves so I'll go to about there and then dip my brush into the glitter and then just press this on to where I just went and just keep dipping back into the glitter so you can really pack it on don't worry if you go over the black a wee bit because we can fix up really really easily after and then just clean the glitter off your brush and again just get more of the fixing gel onto your liner brush and run it along the rest of the wing you can do this all in the one go but I just find if you do it in two pieces it just makes it that wee bit easier and then again just get the glitter onto your liner brush and just pack it on just like that this is actually a really really quick and easy way just to glam up kind of any look like that and then what I like to do is to just get the eyeliner again and to just go over the liner that you may have touched with the glitter just like that so I'm going to go ahead and put my mascara and my lashes on and then I will be back so yeah, this is the finished look guys. So this is just a really fun, quick and easy glam look. Um, you literally just line your liner. You can do it with no eyeshadow on, you can do it with no lashes on, just a bit of mascara and a bit of liner underneath. And that is you ready to go. You don't even need to use a black liner, but I think it just helps the um, glitter to stand out a wee bit more but it is completely up to you so quick and easy if you're in a rush to go on a night out this is all you have to do and it makes like it makes it look like you have put in so much effort to your look so yeah thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video bye